The folks at DreamWorks are doing something which is truly impressive, which will benefit the entire community. They just announced that Moonray, which is their in-house award-winning render engine, would now be available as open source under the Apache 2.0 license in the coming months. Moonray is DreamWorks award-winning state-of-the-art production Monte Carlo Ray Tracer renderer, which has been used on feature films such as How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Trolls, What Thor, Bad Guys, and so on. This is a welcome development as artists would soon be able to create stunning images with this soon-to-be-announced industry-grade render engine. Moving over to the release note, the vice president of DreamWorks Global Technology has gone on to say that we are thrilled to share with the industry over 10 years of innovation and development on Moonray's vectorized, threaded, parallel, and distributed code base. The appetite for rendering at scale grows every single year, and Moonray is set to meet that need. We expect to see the code base grow stronger with the community involvement as DreamWorks continue to demonstrate our commitment to open source. Moonray, which is continually in active development at DreamWorks, is built on a leading-edge high-scalable architecture with no prior legacy code, allowing for quick feature films quality, artistic iteration, which includes support for distributed render, a pixel matching XPU mode, which offers improved performance by processing bundles of Ray in the GPU, as well as the CPU, Ray processing via Intel Embry, shader vectorization using Intel ISPC compilation, and bundled path tracing. Moonray also includes includes a USD Hydra delegate for integration into content creation tools, which are now considered a standard. And with Intel pitching in, they've also gone on to say that we are proud of our close collaboration with DreamWorks Moonray with the impressive photoreal ray tracing renderer performance support by open source Intel Embry and Intel Implicit SPMD program compiler. Both distributed in the Intel One API rendering toolkit, Moonray's features like hair and fore rendering were developed in collaboration with Intel, and this resulting improvement are embedded in Intel Embrace ray tracing kernel library, and this exemplifies how using open source benefits the entire community. And personally, I am excited about all of this happening owing to the fact that some of the features, exchange file format, and tools that we've come to love were actually developed and led to be open source, like the Open Image Denoiser, Open Subdiv, USD, GLTF, and so on and so forth. So, having Moonray coming out as open source under the Apache 2.0 license is a welcome development. And for those who are wondering about performance, Moonray utilizes DreamWorks distributed compilation framework ARAS, which will also be included in the open source code base. And this in itself also provides a multi-machine and multi-context support, which speeds up interactive rendering display for artists to actually iterate faster. And with tools like this available as open source, sooner than later, software developers will start integrating this renderer as an Uber renderer that ships with the software itself. So, this is more like it. For those who like to go ahead and take a look at this, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up on all of the cool things. And of course, if you like to see some of the things that DreamWorks actually offers, if you go over to the About page, you'll be able to see all of the nice things that DreamWorks brings to the table. From the Hydra Delegate to XPU to Light Filters, Display Filters, Vectorization, Layerable Materials, and so on and so forth. The documentation, the licensing, and also the download as slated to be coming soon. So just in case you'd like to catch up with this, you need to sign up and visit this page from time to time. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.